Hey everyone, this is Darren again with Crazy Minnow Studio, and this is a continuation of the salsa tuning how-to series that we've got going on. Actually, I think we're probably only going to do these two parts. This is the second part. And if you didn't watch the first part, go ahead and go check that out. Let's get right to it. So first off, we're not. this is one of the models we did on the last one. We're going to work with Emoto Guy. Let me turn him on. And Emoto Guy is scaled down. He's 25%, and that's because he's a huge model, so he needs to fit in with my camera layout here. So anyway, that's all I did was scale him down. He's got the same animation on him, which really doesn't do much, except kind of move his head around a little bit, kind of weave him around. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I guess what I can do is tell you what we're going to do in this one. We're using a motor guy because he's very expressive. He has some nice big movements, uh, emphasis and uh, lip sync movements. I want to demonstrate how you might tune for a very kind of slow speaking, deep bass, slow speaking character and uh, maybe for a high pitched fast speaking character. And we're going to just take the standard promo audio here and just increase or decrease the pitch. And Salsa can handle that because it's all real time. So let's, uh, we don't have to rebake anything. We don't have to bake anything, period. But anyway, let's go ahead and select our Emoto guy. Come in here and we are going to use the Daz one click on this one because uh, Emoto guy is a Daz character. Remember, if you don't have the one clicks, you can go out here to get them. Get new one clicks. All right, so Daz, he's a prefab. We've got to break him up. Just like we always do, we can create another prefab once we have configured him. So we're, go we're going to leave promo mail just because, yeah, whatever. It works with this one. You'll have to listen to my voice. That's uh, my voice doing the promo mail. And play on awake now, loop, yes. And let's turn the volume down like we did before so that I can speak while we are doing this. Let's just see what he looks like. See what he looks like default. Salsa. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, stop. I was, I knew I was going to do that. So his eyes, he's doing some weird stuff. Let me go to scene view. We see that he's, he's looking up, which is weird. All right. And the reason for that is because this model is normally really big. And I mentioned that I scaled him down to a quarter of his size. He's looking up here where he would be looking when he was full size. So what we've got to do is go into the eyes module real quick. This is not a tutorial on how to configure eyes. Those, uh, the eyes tutorials are coming. This is still tuning salsa, but we're going to adjust it. So what we need to do is adjust his target offset. And since we adjusted the size of the character, made him 25% of his normal size, we'll adjust this to approximately 25%. We'll set it to uh, 0.15. That's a little less than 25%. I believe if my math is right, that should be all right. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. He's looking a little bit down now, which is, that's all right. We don't, we don't care. As long as he's not looking weird, right? Okay. So let's stop. Close eyes up here. All right. Let's get back to it. Now, what does he look like? Uh, default one click Salsa. settings, simple automated lip sync approximation. All right, so first off, I mean, I'm looking at this, and this model, I really like this model just because of the way he emotes, the way he is, uh, his visims are configured, and there's a lot of mouth movement, very dynamic, uh, responds well to the audio, and then his emphasis emotes uh, give him a lot of life. He's, he's, he's cartoony, so you want, it, you want everything to be big and bold, right? All right, but the first thing I notice is that the mouth is maybe... I don't know. Maybe a little too fast. You'll get great I think it's too fast. I think we need to slow it down, <clears throat> smooth it out just a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to mess with any of the emphasis emotes. They all look pretty good. So let's close up the motor uh, and let's get into the settings. And uh, let's go down here to our overrides and let's smooth it out just a little bit. Let's give this on animation a little bit longer to uh to operate oh another thing we might want to do uh, is adjust our silence analyzer for pre-processing or shape your audio 
Results are superior to basic job. I might change these default settings for this because I, I just feel like these work better. Uh, but anyway, with its low um, price point and minimal workflow requirements, salsa is perfect. This actually looks pretty good. But what are we sitting at here? 0 0.10 for our pulse and our smoothness. I don't dislike that. I like that. Maybe, I don't know. I'm still moving a little fast. He's a big character, big face. Probably don't want him moving quite that much for the speed of the audio. Forward to seeing what you create. Salsa, simple automated lip sync approximation. I don't know. I think that looks pretty good. Technology behind Salsa provides high Let's see if we if we speed up the nuance. Let's see what that. Uh, Salsa processes audio files I don't know, maybe, in real time. Maybe too much. Zero requirement for pre That's pretty good. Or All right, let's go with that. I like that. <clears throat> are superior to basic jawbone let's copy that this is going to be our our emoto guy tuned here let me go ahead and uh paste these values back in and then i did make some changes here so let's go ahead and adjust these uh yeah that's close enough that, that, that's good that's good we probably aren't going to need to mess with silence analyzer but what we're here for is to adjust him for a slower moving, bassier or deeper voice. And what I'm gonna do there is just adjust the pitch, like I said, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and start him out. Let's hit play. Salsa. And Salsa. then Salsa. let's go down in here and adjust this pitch. And I don't know. Technology <laughs> okay, maybe. High quality lip sync I don't know, let's roll with it. All right. Yeah, that sounds weird, but okay, we can see that the lip sync is still keyed with the audio. So it's still responding directly to the audio. It's timed, it's perfectly timed, everything looks good. But I think for the character and for the slow, kind of deep sound of the audio, I think we want it to move. But here I'm I'm moving slow, but we want we want the lips to move a little slower, like this big kind of booming character that isn't going to be flapping his mouth really fast, right? So let's go up here and we're going to do more smoothness. We're going to increase that. And I think we want to do the same with off. We want off to smooth it out even more. Like it takes longer for him to close his lips when he's saying something. I'm I'm kind of liking this. Let, let's see what happens if we give him. Uh, let's see what are we at? Twelve point eight. We could probably increase this. Maybe pull that down. All right. So we notice that we're not getting as much dynamics. The nuance of how quickly we're responding to the voice. Uh, the voice is moving slowly, so we don't want to do too much of this, but let's go ahead and pull it down. Okay, this is looking good. Results are superior to basic jawbone animations and eliminate labor. And how is this working down here? Are we, yep, we're still keying off, so we're getting silence detection hits. Not too many. Okay, I like that. Now, uh, one thing I think we need to do is kind of make the movements bigger. So with advanced dynamics, uh, we're sitting at about 50% here. So like if I came down to zero, then his his mouth isn't moving big enough. What I, what I want is, I, I don't want to eliminate dynamics, but I want to try to shoot for a larger animation each time. Yeah, that looks good. Salsa, simple automated lip sync approximation. I'm liking it. I think that's the good. I like it. If you don't like it, slide these sliders around a little bit more. Uh, figure out what looks good for your character and your audio. All right, now we are going to go and do the other side of this where we're going to flip the pitch to fast moving and high pitched, right? So. Well, it's, I don't know. Results it's, are superior to basic jawbone animations and eliminate labor-intensive phoneme mapping. 
with its low price point. Yeah, let's do this. This is super cartoony. Um, and we see the lip sync is still going with it, but we're not getting, I mean, the it's moving fast. And we would expect the character's lips to move a lot faster. But salsa is real time, so it is processing correctly. But we need more nuance, more nuance. Uh, so let's uh, <coughs> let's bring this down. We're already getting there, and um, maybe not as much. You'll get great results with low impact effort. Okay, let's... You to easily breathe triple A quality life into your characters, leaving you more time to focus on what matters most. Pick up salsa today in the Unity Asset Store. I think we could even do more. Salsa, simple automated lip sync. Speed them, speed them up. Technology behind salsa provides high quality lip sync automation. And and I'll, I will say one thing: salsa if you get files in real time, maybe we need less of this. Pre -processing or shape mapping your audio. Maybe we want the clothes to go faster. animations and eliminate labor intensive phony mapping. With its low price point and minimal yeah, I think I like that. Now, I will say one thing. So when we're going this fast on our uh, analysis, our update delays, we probably don't even need Silence Analyzer because we're analyzing frequently enough to pick this stuff up. So I would say probably turn this off and just let Salsa do it. And, yeah. And there's no need for it. It's just kind of redundant at that point. With zero requirement for pre-processing or shape mapping your audio. Results are superior to basic jawbone animations and eliminate labor-intensive phony math. And, and I don't know. I kind of think this looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, we could go for a couple of different looks here. We could uh, maybe have him slam his lips shut a little bit faster. A little smoother on the uptake. Pick up Salsa today in the Unity Asset Store. We look forward to seeing what you create. Salsa, simple automated lip sync approximation. The unique technology behind so this might fit your character a little bit better, you know. Um, we might speed everything up, give him this like really chattery look. Um, now, one thing we could do, <clears throat> we could turn off the animation off, and so it's only on. We're only seeing an animation on, and then it's snapping to off. Allowing you to easily breathe triple A quality life into your characters. That might be what the, the look is that you're going for. Now we could also do it the opposite direction where uh, we now to do this where we probably are going to have to let me go ahead and copy this out. But we're probably going to have to uh, apply these settings. I'm going to disable silence analyzer because we're not using that. And let's paste these values back in. And what uh, I am going to do just to demonstrate a different look here. I mean, I guess I could have just taken this down. Problem is, if I do that, then um, uh, I get, you know, a percentage of zero is always zero, right? So let me, uh, let me go back here and let's set this to zero. Whoops. Hello. Set that. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, they got it. And then uh, let's set this to, say, 0.08. And then we'll apply. And let's see where we're at. Yeah. So the thing is that update delay can't be that. I mean, it can't be zero, right? So um, we do want this. And, and this isn't going to affect anything because it's zero. So what we need to do is uh, basically turn this off and uh, let, let me make sure what our input. Yeah, so that's what I thought. So let's, let's set that back to, uh, what did I say, 0.08? Uh, that might be too much. Six? Get out of there, I can't see. Oh, sorry. All right, and uh, let's apply. And, and then we're going to just manually adjust this. So uh, first off, let's go ahead and start it up. So what we're going to have here is it's going to take zero amount of time. This is going to be the opposite look of before where we had zero time for it to animate off. So it would snap off. So what we're going to do is snap on and then give it some time to snap off. So give it a little bit of time, right? And uh, let's hit play. Salsa. Simple automated and this gets kind of a blah, 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 blubbery kind of look, right? And uh, and again, this is just another look you can achieve. For your 2D and 3D character models. We can slow this down. Salsa processes audio files in real time. 
with zero requirement for pre-processing <laughs> or shape mapping so your audio. Results are superior to basic jawbone animations and eliminate and maybe intensive it will pull this mapping. down. Oh, it's low price I know. I need to change my pitch. My pitch. I forgot to uh, adjust that back. Indie studios on a time and cost budget. All right, that's good. Get great results with low impact effort, allowing you to easily breathe triple A quality life. Into sort of a Max Headroom kind of look there. On what matters most, pick up salsa today in the Unity Asset Store. We look forward to seeing what you create. Salsa, simple automated lip sync approximation. <laughs> the unique technology. All right, all right. I'm just staring at it now because it looks funny. And uh, I mean, we can change this so that we get a little bit more of a uh, like a freeze frame kind of look on it. Results are superior to basic jawbone animations and eliminate labor intensive phony map. And uh, I'm gonna have to reset this again too because I keep forgetting to. You know, whatever that's close enough now you can you can also and this is another look uh we can go in here and what we'll do is uh whoops uh we'll set everything to zero so there's no animation it's just popping on and off and then we'll set this to uh, about there let's see what that looks like right now salsa simple automated lip sync approximation the unique technology behind salsa provides high quality okay so now this is another look I've seen this before. This is kind of a cool look. Probably we would want the emotes to do the same thing, but actually it looks kind of cool with the uh, with the voice doing or with the lips doing it and the emotes going nice and smooth. Kind of a robotic kind of feel to it. And if that's not going fast enough, we can change the update delay down. Simple Make sure that sound analyzer is off. Yep. Salsa provides high quality lip sync automation for your 2D and 3D character models. Salsa processes audio files in real time with zero requirement for pre-processing or anyway, in your audio. Results I think that's it. It kind of gives you an idea of how you can tune your lip sync and even your emphasis emotes to different types of speech and different types of characters. How that speech is moving uh, with respect to what your character looks like and how you want him to move slow, fast, smooth, choppy. It's up to you. Uh, don't just take the one clicks at face value. Use them as a starting point and uh, come up with uh, with your own look and feel that matches what your design template needs. Anyway, that is it for this video. Hope it was entertaining and educational. And as usual, we look forward to seeing what you create. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.